Hello YouTube. Uh, doing a bit of personal work today. Um, I've been putting it off until all the parts arrived and it is installing the power supply board for the S2 SB200 uh, Heathcote amplifier that that um, I've been working on and, on and off on the restoration. So I'll turn you around and, and do a quick run around of the amp in its preparation stage for work. All right, already just started preparing the workplace and its tools. We'll go through that in a minute. The power supply part and, and obviously the manufacturer's instructions. I'll just take you around the amp. Uh, last night we did a video on the danger sticker and we've now clear coated that top cover over the sticker. So that's now sealed. The back of the amplifier have done the same thing on the transformer and sealed that in a clear coat as well. All right, so we're ready now to prepare the workplace. Now for the disclaimer for this video, um, you're working with very high voltages um, at a one amp uh, and these can kill. So before you start, um, you really do need to understand the theory behind discharging uh, power supply caps and um, and uh, initiate that process. Now because I'm going to discard this board after I've removed it, I'm just going to short it the old school way, which is uh, short the positive to the chassis rail after I've removed the uh, 572 tubes. This amp has not been turned on, you know, uh, for uh, over a month now. Uh, but it will still hold charge and they need this charging just even if it's for a process. Make it safe, guys. All right, I'll start uh, dismantling and removing the tubes. Okay, tubes are removed. The workplace is now ready for dismantling. Just want to talk about what you need for this job. Obviously, a pair of side cutters, wire cutters and trimmers, um, that I use as my my bar for earthing out the capacitors. I've got two insulated screwdrivers. One is a Phillips, the other is a small standard, um, and that is for removing the small screw uh, in the knobs. And then I have a socket for removing these screws and the nut on the other side, which is a quarter inch socket. Solder sucker. I have the power supply board and I'm ready for dismantling. Um, just as a matter of interest, these come with a standard small screw in this. I will replace that um, after I've done a bit more of a detail on the hard on the aluminium. Uh, um, for, uh, as they are a brass nut and they tend to round over after a short period of time. All right, so I've marked the, um, I've got some painting tape. I've marked where the knobs are pointed so it's easy to put them back in the same place after the repair is done. So the board that we're replacing is this power supply board. Um, the goal is to remove the four screws here, all the knobs off. Bring the panel forward. Um, step one is to unsolder all of the wires that go through the board along here on the other side, hence why I need the desoldering tool, and then remove the board. All right, uh, as I start dismantling, I will show you more. Okay, the first task that we're, we're going to do today is... Um, uh, remove the um, on terminal J. We're going to remove the three um, shrink wrapped 4.7 meg uh, meter uh, resistors. Um, they're going to be discarded, and uh, the 15k resistor is going to be left in place here. Um, desolder all other wires. This is the HV line, and uh, all the other wires over here and start removing the nuts all the way around for the board. 
Okay, so when I have more, I'll show more. Okay, all well, screws are removed. Um, just be careful underneath the wafer. You don't want to put too much pressure on the wafer here for the um, uh, HV meter selection, VSWR. Uh, yeah, got all of that through. Put them aside in the container. Uh, we'll now go to the top side. I've desoldered the wires coming into the board and now I'll flip it over and uh, focus on removing the board from the top. Okay, so after removing um, all your screws front and back, uh, removing your knobs, you now need to remove these three nuts from these potentiometers. Okay, so in doing this, uh, some people, um, operators who have removed the front panel, they don't remove the, the washers and do this properly, and therefore the, the panel does not lean forward far enough. And I've seen some people um, having to cut a corner out of here to remove this board. All right, effectively, the board is ready to be dismantled. I'm just going to cut off these wires here and we're ready to clean the area up. Okay, now the next task, because we're not using this board anymore and we don't, we're not going to be desoldering all of this, we need to cut an L shape out of the fiberglass board like that so that we can get access to all these wires. And all I'm going to do is cut and cut. Okay, it was actually quite simple. I just did a, a slight cut here and the whole corner came off, therefore releasing all the wires. All right, I just removed the reset switches. That's just two nuts. And that's given me 100% access to the board. All right, old board is removed. It's very, very smelly. Okay, time to put aside. Um, I'll assess the situation in here and clean with IPA. Okay, the two power supply wires have been exposed. This is actually meant to be red and yellow, but over time it's got it's uh, it's gone black. Then you have your red. Well, I've done it as exposed. I'm just going to tin the ends and ready for power supply board to be reinstalled. Okay, so this board was designed with the cutout. If you can remember, we cut the corner off that board. This just makes for easy easy refitting. It's a nice design. Um, this board. It's a non-Harbach board. Uh, Harbach would not supply, um, um, saying that uh, the uh, International Post was not delivering to Australia. Uh, it's highly incorrect. Um, all that had ceased was the sta standard mail services. This led me to a really difficult position. So I've gone with a source that I haven't gone with before. This is an eBay purchase. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, the caps are actually larger than the Harbach boards. However, the design is very, very similar. It is uh, um, manufactured in the USA and assembled in the USA. Um, and I purchased off a Singapore site um, as it, uh, obviously you, you, cho you choose the, the best um, financial option. Um, as it turns out, shipping to Australia from Singapore is cheaper than shipping from the USA at the moment. So purchased uh, via um, this USA company, but from Singapore, and it took eight weeks to get to Australia by normal um, uh, eBay post. Very happy. All right, we'll start uh, installing. It's got it marked here, the red, uh, the red and yellow, and then we go yellow and grey. Okay, still in the buttoning back up stage um, uh, here. And um, I've just started tidying up the wiring here. It was a bit of a mess. Um, I always just have the philosophy to do the job to the best of your, your standards and make it easy for you either yourself or the next person that's servicing this. So I've cable tied this loom here, uh, the reset loom. Uh, and the meter loom here 
just to make it easier to service. Um, there's not many wires here, but it, when you look down on this before I commenced doing the work, it was just a, a jumble of wires. So anyway, uh, making it neat, uh, putting all the screws back in and going to start to screw the board down. Okay, in order to get to the <coughs> uh, reinstallation of these final nuts, one here, one here, and one just over here, you need to uh, carefully remove the potentiometers and now start uh, reassembling back. Uh, got to resolder the HV line into here, and that's next. Okay, power supply board is in. All the screws are snugged down. Did the final installation of the um, uh, transformer wires coming into the board and just neatened up all the other areas. All right, I flipped over the amp again. Now it's time to reinstall the faceplate and carefully remount these. Now I didn't have, for some reason, there wasn't two of these um, gripping washers. Um, so we'll see how that goes. i put the one back on here. Um, whilst you've got this open, clean all of the years of dust off the front panel. All right, um, I found a washer. Uh, put the washer here. It's important that this washer gets put in place um, because these screws here are around about two millimeters high, three millimeters high. So I found a matching washer and that stops the face plate when tighting concaving in. And I'll put the other locking washer over to here, which balances out the front panel. Okay, uh, where are we up to? We've taken this wire, which goes through hole J, and that goes to the non-earth side of the meter on, um, on strip J. So, if you remember, we removed the the string of uh, four resistors, which was in a tube, and this this setup does not require that. So um, the wire connects to this lug, not that lug. Uh, I've neatened up the rest of the insides here. This is just a, a work in progress for a glitch protection. It's not wired up. Now, secondly, what I've done is with the the knobs, as we discussed, and let's see if we can see that. All right, we can see that. So I've replaced these. Um, which uh, clamp the, the knobs down uh, for uh, hex head as you can see it's very fiddly <laughs> oh, there we go uh, hex head um, screws just makes it easier um, to have what is it four five sides when I'm doing uh, when I'm doing the knobs, when using a Allen key rather than a screwdriver that um, can round those heads over, which I've had happen in these, and it's a real pain to get the knobs off once that's happened. Okay, uh, fitted the knobs back on, uh, put the uh, matched pair of Taylor five seventy two Bs in the other tubes. Um, are not functioning and uh, properly, uh, which is a Cetron and a Silvana. They're unmatched. So that's that's done. Power supply is in, looking good. Um, now it's uh, we'll turn it on. Okay, so we have we have HV at about two thousand. Uh, 300 or something like that uh, volts so there we go today's exercise of fitting the new power supply 
to the Heathkit SB200. Remember guys, um, you've got to stay safe on this stuff and observe um, the right method to discharge the capacitors once you've done that you can start work on your amplifier. All right, thank you very much. We're getting closer to finishing this one off. Uh, we're just waiting now for new inserts for all of them and uh, a soft start board. That's about it. And then we do some on-air tests. Thank you very much. Remember, comment, like, and subscribe. Cheers.